Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting the day with some lunch. Today we are gonna have one of my favorites, Factor. You girls running around. I have to get to my nail appointment really soon and I need something super quick and easy. So a huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Your girl loves these. I get so happy when this shows up at the door because I'm like, wow, my week is about to be so much easier. These are fresh, never frozen meals. They are dietitian approved and they are chef prepared. They come in these little containers right to your doorstep. Everything is already made. All you need to do is microwave it for two minutes. As you guys know, I've just been on a journey of just trying to feel better, which includes more clean eating, less takeout, and Factor is just so much cheaper than takeout and it's so much faster. You don't have to wait for anything to get delivered. At this point, I'm pretty seasoned. I've tried a lot of different factor meals and I have loved all of them. They are delicious and they are so packed with flavor. They do not skip out. They have the ingredients you need to feel nice and satisfied and they have so many different options, whether you want vegan and veggie, if you want keto, calorie smart, protein plus. I've tried all the categories. Right now we're doing the calorie smart, which are 550 calories or less per meal. And trust me, that does not mean anything. They are just as delicious. This just saves so much time. I don't have to go to the grocery store i don't have to chop anything up and i could have more time for other things that i need to do like go get my nails done which we need to leave for soon so let's put this in the microwave I do want to also add that they are super flexible. So if you need to say skip a week if you're going away or you need to adjust your order size, you can really easily do that. They also have really delicious smoothies. The strawberry banana is so good. There it is. Oh, and also they are owned by HelloFresh. So you guys know I do like to work with both brands. I actually think it's really cool that I get to give you guys both discounts and you have both options, whether you want to cook, if you don't want to cook, they're both absolutely amazing. So you just do what's best for you, you know? Oh, I actually didn't even tell you. We're trying a new one today. Chive and garlic chicken with creamy cheddar mash and green beans and mushrooms. I love their chicken breast. It is not dry in the slightest. It is so nice and moist. Mm. Oh my God, those mashed potatoes are so good. Chicken literally just falls apart. So delicious. And it just feels good going in. I feel good about my choices. So if you guys want to check it out, which you definitely should, you can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code Alyssa50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. Again, you can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code Alyssa50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. That's an amazing deal. Go try it out and try the sun-dried tomato chicken. It's amazing. The rest of this vlog is going to be so fun, you guys. As you can tell by the title, we're going venue shopping. You trying to get up in your spot? Go ahead, schmucks. I'm going to fix this for you. Oh, you got a croissant. Good job. Yesterday she was talking to me. Let's see. You looking at the birds? Schmucks? You see the birds? No talking today. Just a girl and her croissant. That's fine. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Today's the day we're going to look at more wedding venues. We actually had three scheduled. One had to move it to tomorrow, but you guys will see that in this same vlog. So we have two today and two tomorrow. Before we go do that though, we're going to have a little morning. I just got into some workout clothes. We're going to head into the office. I want to get in like an hour of walking and working and then we're going to get ready and we're going to head out of here. I'm gonna try to keep this hair nice. It's so nice that I actually took the time to style it. We're looking extra blonde too. I used my blue shampoo yesterday. You can also see my roots are starting to come in and my undertone is, I think, a lot more cool toned. So the next time I get it colored, she'll be able to like keep in some of my real natural. Cause this time we just tried to match, you know, the best we could. Apple Watch on the ankle. I actually have a new Apple Watch that I've yet to set up. The workout company that I work with actually gifted me one and it's newer than the one I have now. The one I have is a Series 3 and that one's like an SE. So I really wanna set it up. I just haven't had the second two. I also need to clip this hair up so it doesn't get all nasty. This one's inside of my face. I hear you. Are you talking now? Oh, yeah? No way. Is that your friends? Oh, oh my heart. Oh, yeah? I can't wait for Grandpa to make you a catio. You're going to love it. You're so cute. All right, off we go. I will see you guys in a bit. Cute face. <laughs> all righty it's been a little bit we are just now wrapping up makeup i almost feel like since i haven't been wearing it i'm like what do i do what do i not do but i feel like this looks pretty this one eyelash do you see her facing downwards and i'm not plucking it out certain times of the day at 
my vanity here the sun comes in so weird so i think i'm gonna have to get like shades or something to go behind these blinds so that i don't get lines on my face because i like the natural light but i definitely don't want like the weird lighting you know what i mean we're gonna leave here in a few minutes we have to drop off zane's car he got like a recall thing so we're gonna drop off his car so i'm gonna follow him there and then we're gonna hop in one car and start going to our appointments i actually think that's that's it i think i'm done so i'm gonna get dressed i'm gonna wear the classy network stuff that i got yesterday i'll show you my outfit it's in the previous vlog if you didn't see that chapstick and then nyx lingerie in the shade push-up so we have two appointments and then zane and i are actually going to go on a little date we're going to go to korean barbecue i don't think we've been out to eat since the last time we went venue shopping so i'm excited to go on a little date spend some time together let's do it Alrighty, we have to leave so i just did like a Quick little fix on these front two pieces. I attempted to at least. Classy network, whole outfit, bodysuit, and cargoes. Now we are picking a shoe. Black nude, black nude. Maybe these? These are kind of a different nude though. No. Nope. These might work because they have black on the bottom. Maybe? Question mark? Mm, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok audio that's like, eh, eh, yeah, that's me with Converse. It's like any shoe, mm, Converse. No, I love booties though, but I just think Converse are gonna go way better with this. Casualize it down and it looks good with the cargoes. Oh my god, I just remembered I had a dream last night that my engagement ring broke and I was like, how are we gonna look at venues when my engagement ring is broken? We have to go get it fixed. I just remembered that. But this ain't, this ain't brain. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a vest. Babe, are you doing like a big jacket? No, a jean jacket. A jean jacket, okay. What jacket? Uh, this didn't fit me when I got it, but let's see if it fits now. Still too tight. What, babe? <gasps> Thank cool. you. Oh, it's full. I know. You want me to try it? Yeah. Okay. You want a straw? Oh, I'm gonna go straw with this tumbler. Yummers. I'm gonna go now, okay? I'm gonna have to drop my car off anyway. Oh, then I'll come get you? Yeah. Okay, that works. <laughs> I'll have an extra minute. I mean, not obsessed with this on here either. Hmm. I know it's cold out. Let's see. Let's check again. Oh, it's getting better. Feels like 39 and it's gonna get up to 50 with and sunny. That's okay. I think we can do a vest. I just think this is gonna go best with this outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Earring. What we thinking? Yeah, definitely these big chunky hoops. Yay! Cute. Okay, I like it for Castle. All right. All right. Final look. I just threw on a little bit of Fenty lip gloss. I put a little bit of hairspray for my flyaways up top. Hair's not perfect. It could use some more curls, but we don't have time for that. So it is what it is. Here's the fit. A little vest. We have the sippy. Zane made me an iced coffee. Phone. Oh, I need my glasses. Oh, perfume. Hello. I'm gonna go for the new Ariana Grande. We're gonna go pick up Zane from the car dealership and then we're gonna head to appointment number one. I need a straw for my coffee because I'm um, lipstick. <laughs> okay. I know, you guys. I don't know who I am. I'm not drinking it every day because I refuse to depend on it and I refuse to have a headache from not drinking a beverage and I refuse to become addicted to caffeine and coffee so i'm not doing that but on a day like today it's perfect we'll have some coffee go to our appointments and then we'll have a nice uh lunch <laughs> off we go oh my glasses and then we're and then we're going all right ladies and gents we have made it to venue number one got some little work done on my phone on the way let's go see ya this one I talked to someone about that she's a makeup artist and she's done weddings here She's like they do multiple weddings at once and I had a really hard time finding my bride because there was so many like rooms and Weddings going on. And I don't know how I feel about that. So but it's just fun to go look so let's go see you never know You never know the outside is very pretty so far we have a gazebo and a waterfall. This is pretty All right, we've just entered so pretty someone talking to us huh? I don't know. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Guys, we just got placed in this little room. <laughs> and she was like, they'll be in shortly, like a doctor's office. <laughs> Cocktail. It's like amazing. You wouldn't be able to tell how big Yeah. Especially from the outside. Come on in. Reception, please. You have a color scheme on yet? 
That way they're not taking up infinite space on the dance floor. Yeah. You also have two TV screens in here. Give us a flash drive of pictures. We can play them on the screen. Oh, oh cool. cute. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's cute. It's personalized. You can put whatever the hell you want on there. You yeah. Can put baby pictures. Other people put engagement shoots. Party life. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's bathroom out in the area. Bridal suite. Oh, cool. Yeah, cute. I love a bridal suite. <laughs> nice big mirrors everywhere. I know. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Venue one. We are leaving now. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts? Um, hold on. Let me pull out of here. First. Okay. She was really nice. Yeah, she uh, was super nice. Yeah, she loved that we were doing like untraditional things. She was just like vibing with us, so that was fun. The venue was gorgeous. It definitely had that like typical all white simple vibe. It didn't have like too too much character. Does that make sense? Yeah, it was definitely more like sophisticated, yeah. marble, like yeah, that kind of vibe. The place was massive. You would get lost in there. It was like a maze. Um, they do usually have multiple weddings at once, but ours is on a Monday, so she's like, that probably wouldn't happen. Um, they have other rooms, but she didn't show them to us because of our, you know, our smaller guest count. It would just look empty in the rooms. So there was only one room that would accommodate our thing, which I showed you guys. Ceremony room is still being built, so we couldn't see that. It's just an empty room. Um, they don't do ceremonies outside. They didn't really have an outdoor space at all, huh? I know. I don't that, like that. That was one of the downsides because yeah. I love the wedding pictures um, outside. And I noticed yeah. on the walls, yeah, they weren't at that location. So people probably oh, went to the pictures. gardens just for pictures, which is like, I kind of mm -hmm. don't want to have to go all the way there just for yeah. pictures. I thought the reception room was kind of small. It was. It didn't look like grand and big. Like at least the one that, you know, we like a lot right now. Mm -hmm. It's really big and it's got mm -hmm. high ceilings and it feels like this yeah. one feels like we're in a basement. A little bit yeah and like the one room that she said is too big for us that we saw on their website it has the high that's, ceiling that's what i was gravitating towards and she is yeah. right like i think that room is probably so big it's too big if we have like the amount of guests that we have it's mm -hmm. probably gonna look a little weird like it's empty yeah so i don't know if sure. it's a good fit because like yeah the room that i like is too big mm -hmm. and the room that they're offering is basement yeah. vibes i off the bat just don't think it's the space for us for multiple different reasons i like the idea of an outdoor space i like that people can step outside get fresh air have like a nice little area they don't have a hotel on site which is like not a lot of venues do but it's definitely a plus if they do no outdoor ceremony space it would be inside which we couldn't even see yet hello <sighs> some guy just looked like he was about to walk into our car uh, lock the doors you, what i will say i love the lights in there i think yeah that was cool. cool a lot of venues have that though and also it was actually the most affordable one that we've seen yeah. i wasn't expecting that i thought it was gonna be the most expensive because of how I, big and lavish it was i thought it was gonna be the most expensive too yeah the food looked really good too that's another thing, actually. I think I was more impressed by the other venues, menus. Food, yeah. I did mean, they you, all look good. Did you peep the entree, though? Like, the entrees that they were offering, they weren't, like, anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing that I was like, oh, my God, like, I would order right. that at a restaurant. Right. Some of these other ones, like, literally had me salivating, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's true. There's a little bit of bias coming, because I did read a review, and somebody was like, oh, they didn't like the food at all. Oh. So, I had a little bit of, like, that mm -hmm. in my mind. Preconceived kind of notion. Okay, so that's our thoughts. Um, I think that one's a no-go, unfortunately. But she was really sweet, and I'm glad that we went and saw it. Well, I think we still, like, let's look at all the other venues, so. Yeah. I think there's still a lot to see, like. Yeah, we'll it's fun. It it's goes. fun to see all the options. I like it. Um, but you can just get a vibe, you know, when you know that something would fit and be, like, you can picture your wedding there, like that one. I, I just agree. don't picture our wedding Yeah, there. I didn't really get that vibe of, like, oh, yeah. my God, like, this is where we're going to get married. Yeah. If it doesn't spark joy. Shout out Maria Kondo. Shout out Maria Kondo. If it doesn't spark joy, we don't want it. We have arrived at venue number two. I wait. Cool. I see. I see white stucco and a and a cool roof. Yeah. Oh. oh wow. Like imagine pulling up to this at your wedding. Hello. This is cool. Wow. Nice big golf course. It's such a nice day today. Oh my it God. is. We picked two good days for both our tour days. Wait, wait, this is wrong. Oh, there she, we go. She didn't compliment the ring, the last girl. <gasps> she didn't. That's Red flag. <laughs> How are we doing time? We're doing good. It's like, oh, like right three, three minutes Walking early. Okay, I could picture walking up here on our wedding day. What do you think? Um, 
I like this entrance. It's still early days. Okay. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Hi. Wow, this is... This room is too big. That's too big, yeah. Right. Uh, needs a guarantee of at least 125 adults. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Okay. Definitely not. <laughs> this room here. Okay. Um, of course, this wall would be closed. Okay. And this sits right on the patio. It overlooks the golf course and the seats. And this would be your cocktail hour room in here. Oh, right there. Okay, so this is cocktail hour. You know, we're just setting up. Yeah. The way we and that would be where you walk to. This is really pretty. We supply just the white lights around the uh, gazebo. Everyone else brings in their own decorator, okay. you know, florist. Yeah. And just keep going. Keep going up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right straight ahead? Straight ahead is one of the bridal suites. Okay. Bridal suite. Bathroom. And remember that area where the ballroom is? The main mm -hmm. ballroom? Mm -hmm. This is the balcony. Oh, it's like a little overlooking balcony. Oh, wow. It is Monday. Mm -hmm. You can get together at least close to a hundred adults. Uh -huh. We might be able to give this room to yeah. you if you like this. Okay. Uh, this could be a ceremony site. Okay. Of course, there would be no tables. Yeah. Here. Yeah. This is really pretty. This could be also a ceremony. Okay. And of course, picture it with no tables. Yeah. Ugh. Second venue done. That felt like a fever dream. <laughs> Why? I don't know, that was so trolly. Why? What does that mean? Like, it just felt like a big, like, this is gonna sound so mean, but it sounded like it was like a joke. Yeah, um, that was a hard pass for us. Pretty, but... I don't even think it was that pretty. Like, it was, it's got it's a old. lot of charm. It's a it's Spanish style mansion, and it literally looks like an 1800s mansion on the inside. Yeah. It's cool, it's got character, sure, but yeah. I don't think it's what we're looking for. And yeah. I mean, when if it's like all dressed up, I'm sure it would look pretty, but... Of course, yeah, we saw the pictures online. It definitely looks yeah. like pretty, but... Yeah. I don't know. They're missing a lot of things on the menu that we were looking for. Yeah, the menu was very small. They're the only place that doesn't include a cake, but they have... The ice cream sundae bar. To me, I think that's hysterical. That's what makes it so trolly to me. Like they're like, you know, All no, fancy. no cake, but we'll we'll bring ice cream. Ice cream bar. <laughs> <laughs> I also I didn't love the ceremony spaces. I like the outdoor one. No. That one was really pretty. Yeah, this one's a hard. This is my least favorite one by far. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I feel bad saying this because everyone is so sweet too. Like when they're talking I know. to us. She said so it's it again. It's not personal at all. She was like, I feel very close to you. I know. They all keep saying that to us. I feel like we're family. I feel very close to you. I'm like, we must give off that like homey energy. Yeah. Not to be confused with homey. Like homey. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're like, like homies. You like know what, what I mean? up, yo? You're like now like what it's up, yo? Homie. Like like homey. Like, like an at-home feeling. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> it felt like you would go to this venue if you had like an old couple get divorced and they got remarried. They would choose this venue. <laughs> That's what it felt like. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you'd go here and you'd have like a midnight. Not midnight, like a midnight. An average night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was a fun experience though. It's always fun to, you know, I tour know. some venues and I love like conversating with the people that give us the tours. It just like it's fun to me. Yeah, it's cool. Anyways, it's a pass. We're gonna go find somewhere to eat now. So excited to eat. Tell them what's on the menu. What's on the menu? Oh, I already said that we're gonna go get Korean barbecue this morning, but now we're thinking we're a little bit further um, out like west, so we're more no we're more towards Queens. So we're like maybe we'll try a new Korean barbecue spot over here in Queens rather than going to the one by us. What are we thinking? There's literally like there's a, so I many. was right. There's so many nearby. There's actually two within a mile from here. All right, let's go to one of those then. I'm hungry. Yeah, or would you prefer to the, go to the one? Uh, I, I I try anything. You know me. It's all gonna be more or less the same. All right, so let's go one over here. Try a new restaurant. When's the next time we're gonna be all the way over here? Actually, I think I answered my own question. We're not going to one over here. No, okay. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. Oh yeah, let's go now. Traffic, dude. We're in Queens and it's two o'clock. If we eat here and then try to go home work traffic from queens <gasps> and it's a thursday so there's gonna be work traffic it's already a 37 minute drive i said we go now okay we get my car first because the place doesn't even open until three so we can go home get my car okay and then we'll go straight there <laughs> home sweet home you guys oh no don't scratch the couch feels so good to be home. 
we stopped at Harbor Freight to return something and actually one of your guys' boyfriends came up to us and was like, my girlfriend's not gonna believe that I saw you. So we took a selfie to send to her, but I believe her name was Marissa, Melissa? Marissa. Marissa. So Marissa, if you're watching, um, we met your boyfriend Giovanni and he was really sweet. Shout out you guys. Shout out you guys. It was so cute. I love I love running into people in person. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it definitely is so nice. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do some cat care for a minute. Bailey is a little stinker, so I'm gonna clean her real quick. Come here, Bailey. No, not you. Come in. You're kinda stinky. You need to be wiped. Let me give you a little wipe. It's a cat wipe, don't worry. Yeah, you're so stinky. Hopefully that helped. And then they also really need to be brushed. Oh, Benji loves being brushed. Oh, that feels so nice. Wow. Just a few little, few little, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. You need to be brushed too. Yes. Now you got wiped, you're getting brushed. You're so nice and clean. Lighting was terrible that way. There we go. Wants to be brushed. There you are. Chonkers loves to be brushed. Bella, don't be drama. What are you, what are you doing? Look at her, she went up here herself. She's on the pedestal and she's getting brushed. Look at how much I'm getting off. Go Bailey, go Bailey. Who's coming up? Here. Bella's turn. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, what good cats. Is this the cat brushing pedestal? Okay, goodbye. All right, I've decided to get back on the treadmill. I was just feeling like I needed to move my body a little bit more, especially after that meal. I was like, whew. I need to walk it off. So we are walking and honestly, I started to like walking while working better. I just feel more productive, I feel like, when I'm like standing and walking versus like just sitting down all like comfortable. So I'm gonna walk for a bit and I'm editing tomorrow's vlog. That's what I'll be doing here. Hello everyone, it is 9. 39 p.m. I meant to stop. I told myself I would stop at 8 editing and finish tomorrow and then I was like I'm on a roll Let me just finish it. So I just finished editing tomorrow's vlog So tomorrow I have to rewatch finishing touches, etc. I'm looking at myself with makeup on and I'm like, wow, I look nice <laughs> But I love myself just as much without too It's just nice to see myself with it on because I just don't really wear it that much anymore But now I'm gonna go attempt to finish my book if I don't fall asleep because it's I'm getting tired It's kind of my bedtime um, but I have like 50 pages left and I really want to finish this freaking book. Sorry. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. Tomorrow we've got more venue tours and I'm having a girls night with my friend Brenna. We're gonna get some sushi, watch The Bachelor, and it's gonna be a great Friday and a great start to the weekend, so. Okay, I figured I'd update you guys. It is 11.05 p.m. I have like 10 pages left, I think, and I can't keep my eyes open. Literally though, all the pages before that, my heart was pumping. And I was just reading, 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 reading. And now I have that much left. The back of it has other stuff like her acknowledgements and stuff. That's why it looks like more. But I'm like really falling asleep and this is like a spicy ending. So I'm going to finish it in the morning. And then I will let you guys know. I'm going to take my makeup off now and go to bed. Good morning. Happy Friday. We're getting ready to walk out the door. Quick little fit check and I will chat to you in the car. Abercrombie. These are... Target, I believe, these boots. I'm wearing another Classy Network bodysuit, and this is from Lovely and Blush Boutique. Two more tours today, let's go. Okay, now we've made it in the car. I actually have a second that I can actually speak to you guys. I think I just did my makeup in like, mm, maybe a little over five minutes, and I feel like it didn't turn out too bad, so happy about that. First of all, let me give you guys a book update. Finished it this morning, and actually, I didn't know this, but apparently there is another hardcover book that has an extra chapter in it, which I had no idea, but one of you guys actually DM'd it to me. Like, every picture of all the pages, I think it was like maybe 20, 20 something pages, something like that. So I actually read that this morning too on my phone. So thank you to whoever sent that to me. That was so nice of you. Literally didn't even know it existed, and I feel like it gave me like a better ending to the book. Like I enjoyed that last chapter because I feel like after I ended the book, there was some questions that I had and I, and I like that they did like a six months later recap. So overall great book. I put it on my Goodreads and I gave it five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. And now we're on to ugly love. I think I'm going to start that one next. Baby, I finished a book in a week. That is nuts. That's like awesome. who am I? That's so cool. I thought it would take me months to finish any book, but Apparently you just have to find books that you really enjoy. So, I finished that book in literally a week and I'm so proud of myself, it was so good. And I thoroughly enjoyed it and I found myself wanting to read more than doing any other leisurely activity and I love that for me. So, that's the update on that. It is uh, Verity by Colleen Hoover. I will link it down below and I will try to find that hardcover version because I would suggest if you guys buy the book, 
you get the version with that extra chapter because I, I enjoyed it. So that's that. And I will warn you, it is a little bit disturbing, um, but overall not as bad as people I feel like made it out to be. There's actually a few other venues that I would love to look at. So I think when we're driving right now, I'm gonna call them and see what their minimums are and maybe make one more day of wedding tours before we make a final decision. Wedding, venue, shopping, day three. Let's go. All right, here's the entrance. So hard to picture because we're viewing in the winter. I know. All the venues keep saying that. You're like, they're like, yeah, but everything's dead. Another sunny, beautiful day, huh? Yeah. So nice out. Oh, they're gonna be making good food again. <gasps> I love this song. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are good. you? Good. Good. Awesome. And then we're gonna call the manager. All right. Okay. Very historic. Yeah, this is very like classic Long Island. Very vibes. classic historic vibes. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Cool. So this would be um, the guest would enter into here. Okay. So this is uh This is hospitality. Okay. We'll the bar, we'll be serving some wine and cheese for everyone. Okay. And they can move into this room as well for extra seating. Okay. The conservatory. Before the ceremony begins. Conservatory and polo lounge. Okay. okay. And then we're inviting them in outside to the gardens for the ceremony. Okay. This is your own private terrace. Oh nice. So you have this terrace plus the library as a hangout area during the reception. Ceremony is outdoors, right out here. Oh, and then guests perfect. will then enter cocktail hour. Oh, and then this will be cocktail hour. This is pretty. Two choices for ceremony. We can do this area here, or we can do this area here. This is nice too. And this is gonna be all filled in with flowers. We're gonna have flowers yeah. around the gazebo and flowers in these columns. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Having those roaming around. And this is cocktails which in October will definitely be outside. We'll put some heat. We got these everywhere. Secret door. Like secret door, the yeah. bridal suite. Keep making right turns. Okay. <laughs> right turn. That's your step. Okay. Uh, that is your suite. Nice. I like it. I don't know, someone lived here? Like this was a house? Massive. Okay. Hold on, we gotta get directions quick. I got it on my phone. We're gonna be two minutes early if we leave right now. Okay. We're off to the next one. Okay, um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I was not expecting to like that one as much as I did. Let's go over the, the points. We should have like a checklist of what yeah. we like we should talk about. Number one, tour, I don't know what you want to call them. The person that gives us these tours. Great. Yeah, he was awesome. He was awesome. Um, Those are man. I know. Well they're salesmen. Sales saleswomen, salesmen. They're trying to sell, you know? But um yeah, he was great. At the end he's like, book with us, you're gonna love it. <laughs> First of all, price. Phenomenal. Yeah, this is the best price one so far. I think we so. have to price out the other ones that didn't give us a big total because the tax, the administrative fee, and all that stuff. Yeah. So we have to do like sit down and do all the pricing. I'm curious actually to see even the ones that yeah. we're not interested in just to see this the. This one was very reasonable. This one was super reasonable for. They include everything. They have a wedding planner. They have the day of person like to assist me. They have the wedding cake, all the food, the open bar, the ceremony. I can come early and get ready in the bridal suite. It was, there was so much space to do oh, so many things. He, remember, he said we were going to talk about it. We never talked about it. He said like if we book, he's like, yeah, we'll talk about you coming another hour earlier or whatever. Oh. Yeah. The outdoor space, he was like in October, you are going to love this. It is so pretty. It gives me like Europe vibes. They have like those black metal tables out there. They have the waterfalls, the brick. Like it is so pretty. And he's like, October is the perfect month. It's gonna be so nice out here. We can put even heaters if it's cold. And I'm talking a million miles a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything. But the cocktail hour will be outside. The ceremony outside, if not inside. Um, we would use the bigger space, even though we have a smaller guest count, he would still allow us to have that smaller guest count in the bigger space. And we would just fill it up to make it look like it's not, you know, more empty. I love the I outdoor. I love that they have a lot of food to offer. A lot of you nice food. Me. I think that's really important. A lot yeah. of nice food. He said that their head chef is from Italy, he said. Naples, yeah. It's got that like, you know, old school Long Island feel, yeah. which is... It's definitely dark, but it's, I feel like it's yeah. okay. It's dark, it's maybe not 
exactly what we expected slash wanted, but mm -hmm. it's cool. I like it. Yeah. The outside, I think, is gorgeous. My only concern yeah. is, like, it is the end of October I in know. New York. So it's, like, if it's 40 degrees, there was one time. We had to put heaters. No, but it literally snowed on Halloween one time. True. Like, it is a slight possibility that it's going to be too cold, possibly yeah. snow, and obviously it could rain. If it comes down to it, we can't even utilize the outside, then it's, like, I would much rather go to a different venue. Yeah. Right. Like, the inside has to be good just in case if the outside yes. doesn't work out. It looks like an old movie you would see or something mm -hmm. like, like a, a set for an old movie. And, it, and yeah. it's cool. Is that what we want, though? I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is like, fuck it, why not? It's so, like, left field and it's cool. And, and why it, not have fun with awesome. it? Yeah, why not? Exactly. Like, our house is exactly our style and yes, what we like. Like, yeah. it doesn't mean our house is going to have to be, like, antique and, like, it's just the carpet. antique that's the word to use. It, it is, is antique -y. very antique-like. Yeah. yeah, it's old. But it's, it has character. Yeah, and, like, I'd rather that there. than, like, yeah. all white walls. I don't know. Well, yeah, like that one venue that we were talking about that we saw on TikTok. Oh, there's like white marble everywhere. Please. We don't everywhere. Need a fake everywhere. We don't want fake modern. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listen, I'm I'm with the vintage vibes, honestly. And yet No place, by the way, doesn't have an open bar. Shout out I know. New York. Yeah. I thought that was gonna be something that we have to like, you know, oh they're gonna allow an open bar. Every place that they don't even like bring it up as if it's mm -hmm. as if they're not gonna have it. Yeah, it's always like, like yeah. Oh, yeah, open bar. Yeah. <laughs> and yet another one that he was like, I like you guys, you guys are a cool couple. And like shook our hand, he's like, book with us. <laughs> well when you say it like that, it makes it seem like he was just saying he, he likes us because he no, wants no, us to but book. Everyone, I know, but when like, he said it in a, that order. No, sorry. <laughs> they all are just like, they're like, I like you guys. Like, they vibe with us, I feel like. They all We're say that. We're just such a vibey couple. We're just a vibey couple. Wait, also, last thing I want to mention about the venue we just saw. He said there's peacocks walking around all the time. And so during the ceremony, there would be peacocks. And I just think that that is awesome. And look at the outside. I know it was like dead today, but like with all the flowers and stuff. This would be gorgeous in October with the waterfall. There it is. This is a nice little entrance. I like it. Okay, this little waiting room is so nice. This is like vintage, but fancy. Vintage, but like, yeah, nice and open. You guys are playing my mom's favorite Lady Gaga song. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> okay. You're looking to have a separate cocktail hour. What do you mean separate? Like an, an so that's a three-tiered fountain behind the gazebo. We have a white carpet runner, white wooden garden chairs to the right and left. So it's two tiered, you would not need this additional level, except for a private event. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Wow, yeah, this is all our Tuscany room. So yeah. normally, there's no linens normally, there's umbrellas in the center. Wow. So I'm gonna show you pictures, this is not, you know, yeah. the tables would be bare. I love this. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Then I'm gonna show you the indoor ceremony option. Right. So this is the B plan. If, if outdoor doesn't work, you said the night before. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the bridal suite? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Holy crap. This whole thing? Yes. <laughs> wow. wow. 75 people. This is a nice room. Nice big bar in the room. This room is a minimum guarantee of 65. Okay. And we do custom floor plans. Oh, pretty. So this is a much larger room. 75 people would love to be here. Okay, everyone. We have left the venue number two of the day. So many thoughts. First of all, I feel like we just didn't really vibe with our hostess this time, our tour guide. Um, Which is so funny, because what did I just say? I literally, like, leaving that last one, I was like, yeah. oh, they're always so they're nice. They're always so nice. They're just trying to sell. She wasn't, like, mean. She was just, like, not as enthusiastic. A little, a little cold, I'd a say. Little Compared cold. to the other ones that we've seen, yep. listen, it's all good. But, yeah, um, I, I do feel like I was, like, trying to, like, make little jokes and conversations with her and she would kind of just like not answer me yeah she ignored you that one time i was like she did ignore me yeah but listen at the end of the day it's all about the venue it's about the venue and that venue was fucking sick. it was one of it was top three for sure also but it does matter how we feel there the vibes no, it people, absolutely does you know matter. like right. we want our day to go nice and whatever but if you guys saw that it was called the tuscany room it looked like italy and that's usually used as a cocktail room but she said that we can use that as the reception room which would be literally so pretty cake not included yeah i mean listen that i think aesthetically is exactly what i've been looking for yeah the entrance. where it's like vintage slash elegant but also very very much that's like kind of what i was just saying like the one that we just saw before this one mm -hmm. was like straight vintage but kind of looked a little like poopy mm -hmm. this one it actually is like vintage but like very modern and nice at the yeah. same time it's hard to describe 
Yeah. This one is what, and the outside the gardens, like, oh, it's it's gorgeous. It's um, really pretty. I know I just said it doesn't really matter, but like you said, the it kind of does. The hospitality does matter. Yeah, the you know? vibes weren't the greatest. Yeah. It was very awkward. I felt like that was yeah, the first time that happened to us yeah, out I, of all the venues we've seen. I was not a fan of that tour, but again, the venue is awesome. So listen, I don't know. I wish we could just take one of the other people that we met I and know. put them here. <laughs> because that would have been that like... That would be an easy decision. Right? I don't we know. have a lot of thinking to do, clearly. Um, they're all pretty much in the same range we've found. Like, they're all pretty much priced the same. Yeah, this one doesn't have a cake, though. That's something to consider. But we said we don't even really care about the cake anyway. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> just give me cheesecake. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> do a fake cake and give a cheesecake from the back. Yeah. It's so funny how that can make or break, because I'm like... If we had like one of our previous people show us around that place, it would have been a no brainer. I would have been like, this is the venue. Can we talk about the bridal suite? <laughs> that is what I picture when I hear a bridal suite. It was huge. And it's nice and clean and elegant. That's the first one that I saw, and I'm like, yeah, this is what a bridal one. suite should look like. By Which, far. why don't I get a suite? Well, yeah, we didn't even ask if there was a groom suite. There's never a groom suite, though. The last place had one for you. And Barely. The it's last like an few. extra room. They're just like, yeah, you can just go here. Regardless, yeah, I don't know. We have a lot to think about. We do. Those are just our mumbo jumbo thoughts. I thought we would come at it today being like, that's the one, sold, done. And now we're just like, oh. Hello. Zane and I are feeling quite cranky after that last one. I just feel like it was a bad way to end off. We stopped and got some comfort food. We got Wally's sandwiches. <laughs> we actually ended up booking another tour that we're gonna go to in a little bit. I don't know, we just left that last one not feeling as good as we felt leaving the other ones. We're also debating on maybe even asking if they have another sales representative that we could work with. I know they offered a wedding planner, so I guess we wouldn't work with her directly. But the more that we thought about it and stuff, we were just like thinking about how I would just, just saying so many things and she would just like give me side eye. It put Zane and I in like this mood and we were hungry. So we've stopped home, we're eating. <laughs> Wally's always hits, it's all nice and fresh. We got some fresh turkey, we got all the veggies, red onion, lettuce, tomato, American cheese, and I got a flagel and everything flagel, which is basically like a flat bagel. It smells so good, I can't wait to dig in. Hello, hello, updates. I am walking, getting my vlog up, making the thumbnail links, etc. We were gonna go view another venue tonight and then we were like 4.15, that's gonna be so much traffic, it's far away and it's gonna take so long to get there and back. So we decided to make it for tomorrow. So we have another tour tomorrow. Hopefully it will help us make up our minds a little bit or give us some clarity. I don't know if it's gonna be the venue or like if it's gonna be the venue for us or if it's gonna, you know, bring clarity on certain things we're confused on. Today really confused us, it threw us for a loop. I'm like, I like things about certain venues Venues. None of them are absolutely dream and perfect, but am I gonna find a dream and perfect or do I just go with something that we like? Like, I don't know. So, we're gonna view one more tomorrow and then maybe we'll view more depending on how we feel. But after tomorrow, Zane and I are gonna sit down, get out all of our folders that all of them gave us, price them all out, do's and don't, like pros and cons from all of them, and then we'll try to really like hone down. We'll be like, like take out the ones we definitely don't and then take out like our maybes and we'll go from there. Good thing is we're looking quite early, like we have so much time. So that's good that we started doing it now. We have so much time to like think and wean them out and look at other ones if we want to. So that's that on that. I'm gonna wrap up working here shortly. I'm gonna get in my strength training workout, take a shower, and then my friend's coming over and we're gonna eat sushi and watch The Bachelor. And I'm excited to just sit on the couch and chill. You guys. About to judge me so hard right now. This is why I love working out at home. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> like I could show up to the gym in whatever I want, but would I show up to the gym in Start. purple leggings, a shirt that says surprise bitches, and no shoes, and I'm not, I'm not even wearing a sports bra. <laughs> this is not working out. I'm not doing cardio, I'm weightlifting, so it's fine. I just think this is so funny. I'm so comfy though. I finished working, I uploaded my video, got my work done, and I just walked downstairs. And that to me is like the best thing ever. <laughs> and in between rest, I need to finish posting on TikTok and stuff. I got a package from a brand new one from Sure. Our clothing pieces that have built. Hi. Ten seconds left. Alrighty, just wrapped up the workout. I ordered the sushi. Oh my god. Uh, 
Brenna is gonna pick up the food on her way here. And actually this timing kind of worked out fun because Zane is filming a YouTube video downstairs right now. And so if we sit in the living room, he's right below us and he's a music producer if you didn't know. So it's gonna be like boom, 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 like right under the living room. I set up upstairs all cute for like girls nights and stuff. Normally like if Zane was not filming, I would just chill in our living room, but it gives me an excuse to go upstairs and have a little girls night upstairs so i just started the heat up up there so it gets nice and toasty so i'm gonna turn on the shower take a quick body shower but yeah um contrary to what a lot of people feel i'm actually enjoying the bachelor so i'm excited to watch the new episode and i'm just excited for sushi i have been craving it and just like oh it's just so fresh i love soy sauce i love avocado so good um have you found a spot? You're gonna sit there with me today? Oh my god, he's literally gonna sit there. I wouldn't be surprised if he stays there my whole shower. You wanna come in too? <laughs> Oh, I am so happy right now. A nice fresh shower. I just brushed out my hair, so that's why it's looking a little kooky, but I'm trying to brush it so it doesn't get all nasty and knotted. I put on some skincare. I have on some fresh PJs, my favorite fuzzy socks, and my slippers. Actually, Brenna got me these. That's who's coming over tonight. That's so cute. This is just gonna be so nice. I'm in my jammies. I'm clean. Watching a nice reality TV show, sushi. I'm actually gonna pour us some glasses of wine to like sign me up. I went ahead and grabbed these little side tables that we had downstairs. I actually wanna keep them upstairs anyway, so put them up there, they'll match the living room really nice and cute. I actually am gonna sneak downstairs. Oh, look at all these cats. One more time, I wanna get a light bulb. I put uh, the lamp that was previously in my office, you guys remember I switched it out? I put it upstairs and it needs a bulb, but that's gonna be such a vibe, a little lamp and the cozy couch, yes! We have so many. <laughs> long story it's actually not a long story at all funny enough um when we got our nest thermostats they all came with free light bulbs so have fun filming wow it looks so cool from over here Thanks. so fancy so much patience that i don't have <laughs> okay let's get the vibes going in here set up our little light bulb let's see cute set up our little tables <laughs> Let's turn on the TV. Hulu, please. Oh, I'm so excited, I love it. It gives me like cozy apartment vibes. Actually, we're gonna close these blinds too because we don't need no one peeping in here. Thank you. This is so cute. We both purposely didn't watch the newest episode so that we could watch it tonight together. Get rid of this garbage. I'm gonna go get us our wine and she should be here any second. Happy Friday. So excited to relax. Not that I've done anything super exhausting today. We went venue hunting, which is like great and fun, but it reminds me of like shopping. Like shopping is so much fun, but you get home and you're like, oh. like that's how I feel. I'm like, Whoa. Long day. Talking to people, walking around. These curtains are like lopsided and it's bothering me. It just takes a lot of your energy out, you know? Especially today, we have like a lot of decisions to make. So, of course, Benji's gonna hang out with us. It looks so cute up here, dare I say. Like, I love it. Cozy. We were iffy about this couch when I first got it, but with everything combined, she works. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do that I haven't done yet? Because this couch is very easily movable. You can actually make it like a big bed vibe. I'm gonna do that once we're done eating and then we can like cozy up with blankets. Yes, please. This week's insane. Good morning. Oh, yeah? No way. Really? Really? What would you like? You want love and attention? Why'd you only like this shoulder? It's so weird. It's nasty out, huh? All rainy? Good morning. Happy Saturday. We've got dry shampoo soaking in the hair. It is a rainy, nasty day. And I'm gonna start this Saturday by just tidying up the house. I call it the Alyssa tornado when I get packages and things just get left everywhere and I just leave a trail, you know, a tornado trail. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning, get some things tidied up to start my day. I also woke up feeling a little bit messy headed. Like I know I'm feeling that way when like someone texts me about something and I'm like, I can't even answer this right now. And when I feel messy headed, it starts with my space around me being messy. So let's do that. <laughs>
This is the kind of day that I'm already having with Benji. I had to set up his laser. I'm a morning person, but he's got lots of energy this morning. Alrighty, house is looking good so far. This one today. We bought some stuff to unbox from Amazon. I got two desk pads, one in white and one in this like cream color, just to see which one I like better. So let's see. This is the cork board. You can have it on that side too. But then this side is like a beige color. Here is the white one. We have white and the beige. Actually, it's giving contact paper, so I think I'm gonna stick with the white. <laughs> Then you can't even tell it's on here, you know? I do want to add a little bit of this color over here, though, to my setup. Okay, next up, I got these little tissue box covers. I don't know how I'm going to feel about them, but I have multiple places in the house that we have tissue boxes, and I just wanted, like, some simple little covers. And these were nice and affordable on Amazon. Oh, and it Velcros. Cute! That's all I needed. I actually plan on just keeping them right under here in this shelf anyway, so that's exactly what I needed. Perfect. And it came in a little two-pack. And I actually enjoy the fact that it's like soft and it's not like a hard cover. I like that, especially if you're doing my makeup and just like can take them out, throw them up there, and it's like strapped at the bottom. Love it. Um, Benjino, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. I need this. Thank you. Try number two on these drawer organizers. I hope that these fit. <laughs> What a beautiful thing. I don't think I realized how many this came with. <laughs> I just unboxed them all and totally thought I was filming and I wasn't, but I did film it on my phone for short form content. So just pretend that I vlogged all of this. It came with the little grips to stick on the bottom, which I think is so cute. So I'm just sticking those on here and we can start arranging it in the drawers. So cute. Concealers. All right, to be honest with you guys, I kind of lost patience for this. I am like kind of rushing because we have to leave right now. So I'm just doing my makeup really quickly, but it's hot mess express. It needs to, I need, I need to do this another day. This bottom drawer is not too shabby, but I even want to put my brushes in like a standing thing because this is like, I'm like digging through trying to find something. Just, you know what? I don't have the patience right now, nor the time. So I'm just doing a quick little makeup and we're going to go see our last venue of this vlog. Let's go. Wow. I just did the quickest get ready ever. You've been liking my outfits from these tours, huh? Mm -hmm. I've been getting all the compliments. I love them. Okay, good. Look like a grown woman. Oh, thank you. Oh. Okay, so today for my venue tour outfit, I'm trying to put on my boot. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is my two minute makeup, five minute outfit. Rather two minute makeup, one minute outfit, literally. Um, Spanx leather leggings, my classy network turtleneck, this is my Abercrombie coat, and my Steve Madden booties. What is in my pocket? Lotion. <gasps> That's the bit. And I just had Zane make me coffee because I need something today. Alyssa is cranks. Cranky cranks. I just have so much on my mind. That's what's going on. Like, work stuff. I've just, like, been off my schedule. There's just so many things that I'm just like, duh. Okay. Phone. Sippy. I need my glasses for sure. Please be in here. We gotta go. Yes. Cute. We look like we're ready for a venue tour. Let's go. Oh, I need my pocketbook. Okay. Now it's a full fit. At least the kitchen is clean and we have a load of laundry going for our towels. That's a plus. Zane made us some iced coffee. Our little to-go cups are in the dishwasher, but oh, so excited. I actually, can I put a straw in there? That would be lovely. Come on. Yeah. Nice. All right, you guys, look at this. <gasps> this is sick. Imagine pulling up to a wedding with this? Whoa. 
This has a hotel too. People could stay here. This is giving the same vibe. I don't know if you guys know um, that Taylor Swift filmed her, one of her music videos, Blank Space actually, I think, at the, what was it called, the one we were? Ohika Castle. Ohika Castle. This is giving that vibe. Ohika Castle, we didn't look at, um, but I'm sure that our minimum wouldn't suffice there. This one they will, but this is giving that same vibe, like big mansion. Let's go see. Let's go. I'm excited. I mean, I could see us getting married here. Oh, my battery's dying. I gotta save it. This is gorgeous. <gasps> wow. Holy guac. Entrance. I love these floors. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Look at these steps. <gasps> okay, so we're starting outside. She's letting us take a little walk around. And then this fountain would be on. This would all be set up. So far, the only thing I'm not loving is the brick buildings. It's giving school. It is. It is. It's giving like a school, but this way is pretty. With pictures and stuff, you wouldn't really, it wouldn't, yeah, you know what I mean? Would it would all be set up. Yeah, it would be blurry background. It's a nice space though. It's also, yeah, just empty. You need yeah. To see, like, with flowers, flowers and yeah. Everything. And so far, everyone's, she's so nice. Very nice so Yes, far. everyone's been asking us like 500 times if we've been helped. Mm -hmm. And it has that effect where you walk yes. in and you're like, Whoa. It's grand, yeah. Nice. So far, so good. It's a nice event. Yeah. It's for 608 guests. Woo! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's going to be more of an ongoing cocktail type of event, but they literally have the entire... Wow. Yes. Okay. So what we can do is open awesome. up these two doors. Okay. And they would give you access to guests, you know, that it's a main Oh. Oh. I see. Oh. Right. Both really areas. Nice yeah. This will be like where they check in, get their place cards. Okay. Here is where we will have the bars. Just like this. Bars. Hi. So wow. we have a lot of space for you. However, it is exactly what you would want because depending on what you want to have set up, what kind of entertainment you have, who your guests are. You guys, yeah. I know that you're not having a, a bridal party. A yeah. Group. yeah. But a space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. We cannot be seen in your tuxedo. We yeah. cannot be seen in yeah. your tuxedo. We know what you're going to look like. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to look like. Yeah. I love this mirror. Oh, there's so many mirrors. <laughs> look at this. How cute. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All the mirrors. Yeah. This room is green glass wow. So this right here. Honestly, honestly, Alyssa, it's ready for you to just have. Oh, wow. Ready? This is the after party yeah. space. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, this is dope. <laughs> okay, after party. This is so cool. It's like our own bar. There's more. That way, and there's more that way. Oh, my God, babe. <laughs> there's so much space. Wow, that's so cool. But yeah, but we have this available as well. I have like a morning after massage. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> wow. This is so nice. Oh, it smells so good too. <laughs> yeah, we just... Cleaning all the rooms, we had um, a large event, so people were checking out. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all right. Hold on, we just left the venue, and as we're walking out, we're like, no words until we turn on the camera. So this is for you well, guys. Well, that's how it's been every time, I Yes, we, we are not talking to each other until we talk yeah. to you guys. So. Wait, should we do a three, two, one, and then say what we, how we feel? Sure. All right, ready? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. That's this amazing. This is venue. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my This is the venue. God. This is our venue. See, okay, the only thing is. What? It's expensive. <laughs> it's, it's a little it is, more pricey. Nah, it is definitely more pricey, but rightfully so. This is by far the best venue we've seen. And here by we far. One million percent. And hear me out. It's more expensive, but we get our suites at 8 a.m. Everything else would have to be an added price. Yeah. We get a complimentary suite that night. Yeah. And there's so many other amazing things that they do. The staff is incredible. Unbelievable. The, the person that helped us out. Oh, she's our she friend. She was absolutely incredible. She was amazing. Loved her. Amazing. Yeah, I loved, loved her too. Loved her. The venue is freaking gorgeous. Stunning. It checks every single box. Every single box. That's I, our I venue. I had a feeling. Yeah, I'm like, I could totally picture us going here. Is this it? <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> Dude, 
Yeah, it's definitely more expensive, but I think it's worth it. You know, it's it's a once in a lifetime experience, so might as well splurge on it. You know. Oh, she's quiet. Oh, baby, I love you. Wow. I love you. I'm just so happy because yesterday was so not good. <laughs> my what a what a bounce also, back. Also, my camera died. By the way, we're on my phone. But what a bounce like, back. In my my mood yesterday was so like I'm confused. Nothing feels. They felt good, but nothing felt right. And I was like, even on the way driving here, I was like, this is going to be the one. I was like, said that. I'm putting it out there. I'm like, this is going to be like the saving grace. It's going to be perfect. We're going to love it. And we did. It did at this point. As soon as we walked in, I think uh, I think I was filming on the camera. I had the feeling when we walked in. Well, I'm saying even when we pulled when in. When we pulled we in, We saw too. it. We're like, whoa, yeah. this is gorgeous. Yeah. We walked in. Gorgeous. Yeah. Random people, too. Just, hey, you guys being helped? The staff is extremely nice, which mm -hmm. is important to us, obviously, especially given yesterday's yeah. circumstances. Yeah. And and the main lady who helped us was absolutely amazing. They say the when... The venue was incredible. They say when you, like, feel it, you know. And as soon as we walked into that main lobby, I was like, uh-oh, I might be getting my hopes up, but I think this is it. Yeah. I know. Every time she showed us a new space, I had a little bit of bubbles because I'm like... Please don't be bad. Because I wanted it to be good so bad. And I loved every single space. After yesterday, I feel so, like, satisfied. Like, vindicated? I, yeah, I feel yeah. like it was all worth it. This is exactly what I had in mind. It has character. It's vintage, but also, like, just beautiful and modern. It and it has built history. Built in 1910. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. It's exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. There is a hotel attached. We can do ceremony on site. Outdoor, indoor space. I what? love that she was like, I will do anything for you guys. Yeah, she's like, like, she I will that, she's what... like, I will answer my phone at 3 a.m. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And she was super nice. Yes. That's awesome. And. Love that. This was the first venue that was not like, yeah, you'll get your bridal suite like an hour and a half to two hours before. If you want to extend it for an extra fee, you can. She was like, you have your space in, at 8 a.m. At 8, yeah, right in the morning. You could do your hair and makeup there. And it was huge. It was, not, it was two rooms. It was two, well, two rooms and a massive bathroom. Mm-hmm. I even got my own suite. No one offers me sweets. And it's so they cool. Me and how suite. cool is it with the it's leather sick. couch? It's sick. Mm. I know. I'm like, shit, this is better than anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The after parties? <laughs> wait, wait. We have to keep that low key. Remember what she said? Oh. We have to keep that low key. We can. Whoever's say, watching this. We can say that the where the after party is going to be, it's a secret. But it's fucking dope. Oh, it's so you don't so want me to sick. include that footage? Um, we can. We can maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we'll see we can I'm include editing. it because you know what? When you edit, it's going to be so fast. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also so far in advance. So I don't think people yeah. are even going to really remember. Yeah. It's like a secret. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the after party, you're like, whoa. Mm -hmm. I love that. No, I, th I think this is it. You know what? It is. It's definitely more expensive. It's like. But rightfully so. It's almost. It's not double priced, but it's, no. it's like 1.5 priced. Right? It's not 2x, it's 1.5x more or less. But it's I think it's worth every penny. Uh, yeah. Across the board, there's no downsides for me. It's worth it. You you pay for what you get. And she was working with us too. No, you get like, what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get what you pay for. And our complimentary suite is unbelievable. Yeah. And, yeah. like, you want to stay there that night. Come on. Like, originally, you're like, we could just go home. Like, you want to you wanna stay here now. Stay <laughs> and then, also, um, what was I just going to say? Also, she was working with us, because, like, the ceremony is usually an extra fee. And she was, like, willing to, like, work with us on our guest count and, like, give us certain perks and stuff. She was just extremely accommodating across the board. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, here's what we're offering, take it or leave it. She was very, like, do mm -hmm. what it takes to make it work for us, which mm -hmm. is, what more can you ask for, yeah. really? Yeah, I would say, like, for the average number that we've been seeing, this is about, like, $40 more a plate. Yeah, about 1.5x. Yeah. Um. But, like, so worth it because it's this is the first venue that we walked out of and we were like, that is is it we like agree that's yes. it yes all no the other downsides. venues were like eh, i liked this i didn't really feel good about that da, da, da. this one is like well, clear winner. Say, it's like walking into our house that's what it felt like yes i agree like this is our this is our home one other potential downside if i'm trying to be unbiased here um some other venues that we went to said that they were actually like do the flowers and the gazebo and decorate it all yeah we're gonna need know? more florist stuff yeah basically the outside if we do an outside reception yeah we're gonna need a lot of stuff not if we keep it simplistic we can do it however we want yeah the ball's in our park for sure the ball's in our park yeah in our court the ball's in our court <laughs> it could be in our park too no that's the thing i do feel like some venues were literally like just show up in your gown and everything else will be taken care of whereas this it's like we have to do a little bit more but, but like I think, what though just more flowers um there was another thing every place needs that 
The only time was the outdoor. There was one place that was like, yeah, we'll provide all the flowers for outside. Other than that, every place you need to provide your own florals. They do linens, they do uh So menus. we need to do our own florals, but like that's baby's breath, right? Which is what you said you wanted to yeah. do. But what about like the actual, where you're getting married, that like archway? Yeah, like, yes. Most, a lot of places would, it's already greenery and flowers. Yeah, this that's one we have thing. to like basically do. But yeah, I guess you're right. I think that is the only thing. And we can work with a florist with so many different things. You saw the pictures she showed us. One couple had like so much there. And one couple just had a little arch. Listen. Can I be honest though? What? Even if we did go extravagant and it was expensive to get the flowers we wanted and stuff, I think this is like so such an it. important day. Me and you are power couple. Nothing's like, you know what I mean? Like we should celebrate our love splurge a little bit. Yes. And I agree. This felt like kind of walking into our house. We're like, this is the one. Friends and family can stay here. Tonight they're doing, uh, they're hosting something with 650 people. Yeah, who's paying for that? <laughs> think about that. I want it's to like actually a college or something. That. We have to go. We're going to Patrizia's. You're calculating how much it would be. This is a Saturday, honey. It's more expensive than our uh, price. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go out to a little dinner. That was six figures. Not for us. Not but us. Not for the event that they're hosting. I'm so happy because I was so lost yesterday. Yeah. We're celebrating we found it, dude. finding our wedding. Should we tell her? Should we tell her? We should tell her already that we're going to book. Later, I think, a little I think bit that later. would be kind of funny, though. Just right after? <laughs> yeah, just like right after. It's like. I mean, hey, we love you. We love the venue. Like, let's just do it. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Good. Um, I wanted to let you know that we want to lock it in. Yeah, we absolutely loved it. Yeah, it was like not even a, not even a question. <laughs> this was by far the best experience for us. I, oh my god, congratulations! I'm so happy for you guys. I mean, when you said, "Yeah, we'll we'll get back to you soon," ah, uh, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, Great. we're like, we, should we just do it on the way home? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we thought it'd be funny to like just do it right away because we're like, you know what? There's no question. You yeah. know, you were great. The venue is amazing. So yeah. it's like, why not just get it going oh. now? <laughs> I I am I am so happy for you. Oh. I really am, and I would be more than honored to uh, go ahead and share this journey with with Yay! the two of you. So excited! That's awesome. I am excited. I'm very excited for the two of you. Um, now the question is, what are we doing? Do we want to be sushi or do we want the ceremony? Ceremony. For ceremony. Sure. Okay, of course. Yes. Of yes. course. I do have one I, more um, random question for you. Ask me away. Um, is there a way that we could have somebody like checking guest names? Or something of that sort? Like security Did to a you, certain point? Like Yeah, all look, those are all details that we can absolutely perfect take awesome. care of. Perfect. Yeah, because that was the one thing we forgot to say, but other than that, like everything is perfect. Yep. Okay, no, I am on this. We I will go ahead and send this to you right away. Yes, I know awesome. you have a busy night, so don't worry about it. If you want to get back to us in a few um, days, just email us whenever. Yeah. No, I'm so, I'm emailing you right now. Oh, I love you. Yeah, I'm emailing you right now. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, we are not going to get off of this high right now, okay? Aw, yay! We're going out to a celebratory dinner. <laughs> you need to. You absolutely need to. Have yeah. a drink on me and send me a picture of my drink that you guys have. Oh, I <laughs> absolutely will. I will be sending over to you that wedding check-in, which is very important. I'm going to see about a coordinator for you. And then, yeah, it's we're on this planning train now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome, my pleasure. All right, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Talk soon. All right, yeah, goodbye. Hey! Woohoo! Happy birthday! 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 Happy we are back at home after dinner. I'm still in my <laughs> clothes. <laughs> I just put on my sneakers and I'm about to get a little stroll on the treadmill. Walk off that dinner, get my body moving a little bit today. I have to do a few little things on the computer and then I'm gonna call it a night. Had such a good day, seriously, on a high. I can't believe we picked a freaking venue. And I said it, like I was like, let's just look at one more. It'll really make up our minds, and then we'll have like an answer. Maybe this is gonna be the one. And I'm already so excited. I've been texting with her. It just aligned, it just worked out. I'll, honestly, I do feel a little bit sad to tell the other people that we toured 
that we're not going with them that makes me sad because we kind of like bonded with everyone like it was such a fun experience so it makes me sad to have to tell them no but maybe some of them i can have like a bridal shower or like a baby shower one day or some some other type of event i don't know but such a fun experience kind of sad it's over because i enjoyed meeting people and looking at all the venues and stuff it was a lot of fun but now we enter the new chapter and it's going to be even more fun so let it all begin and now i feel like now that we got the venue out of the way i can actually do so many other things i'm gonna start getting like a makeup trial and i'll try on dresses and we have to find a dj and a florist so many things um but i feel like now that the venue is set at least that is like the huge thing and now we plan around that you know so i'm quite excited about it i feel like a huge weight off my shoulders for sure i'm trying to think if i'm forgetting any details or anything but bailey really wants to look outside you want me to open the curtain no you're getting your little paw stuck careful i just wanted privacy I know. You can't even see anything. It's dark. What a roller coaster of emotions this vlog. Like, we were like up, down, up, down. So, thanks for coming along with us. But that's just like the reality of doing things like this. Sometimes you get let down, sometimes you get really excited, and then you find something better, and you question, and it's all like the process. And you gotta just take your time until you find something where you walk in and you're like, this feels right. So, if you're on the same journey as me looking for venues, wait till you get that spark, you know? I will say though, I wouldn't look at too many because the the woman that gave us the tour today she was talking and she was like kind of reading my mind she was like oh how many venues whatever I was like you're a seventh and she was like how many are you gonna look at she's like advice for me to you she's like you're gonna start to get like this overwhelmed feeling of what to choose and you're gonna start getting like confused what venues had what and then you're just gonna want to get like start over you're just gonna want to like start from scratch and wait a little bit and then your date can get taken up and I was like honestly I was getting to that point yesterday. I was like, I'm ready to take a break and maybe we'll look again in a few weeks, you know, there's no rush. And she like hit the nail on the head. I was like, I was feeling overwhelmed with what we were gonna do. Not overwhelmed, but just like, I was getting a little confused. I was feeling like, am I supposed to be looking at this many? Am I gonna find one that's literally so perfect? Or do people usually settle and it doesn't have everything they want, you know? So I just feel like it was all meant to be. But yeah, we'll talk more about it in the future. I'm gonna end this vlog here, pick up a new one tomorrow. Big thank you again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check them out down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Venue thoughts, let's see. Sir? Oh my. Oh no. Should we drop my camera? No, you drop your camera? I just dropped my camera. Oh shit. Oh, I think it's okay. Why is this tripod? Okay, there we go. Do I have lipstick in my teeth? No, we're good. Okay. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna fall. And actually, and actually, the timing actually. I'm gonna turn it into like a couch. You can make it like a big bed. <gasps> and I meant bed. I said couch. I think I showed you guys some night. Oh, I cannot vlog lately. Good. Good, good, good.